Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Carmine Penta. You can get the parts for the Carmine Penta from Railjack, and you're either gonna have to play missions in the Pluto Proxima, or you're gonna have to play Corpus Occupied missions in Veil vale Proxima. More specifically, you're gonna have to do the side objectives, the optional ones which are marked with a white icon. Now before we get into the video, I just quickly want to apologize because there's something going on with the Carmine Penta where sometimes when I fire it, the camera clips into seemingly nothing and I can't figure out what's causing it and how to fix it. So my apologies for the jerky gameplay footage. Now the Carmine Penta is a Mastery Rank 6 primary grenade launcher that has very similar stats to the standard Penta. It does 75 impact with the projectile and when the projectile blows up, it does 350 blast in a radius of 4 meters with 50% fall off. And other than that, it has a relatively low crit and status. Now, the way the Penta works is a little bit different to a lot of other explosive weapons because instead of just firing an explosive that blows up as soon as it touches something, you are instead firing grenades that can do a little bit of upfront damage if you hit the enemy directly and you blow them up with a secondary fire. And you can have up to five grenades up at any given time, though this also counts the grenades you fire out thanks to multi shot, so a lot of the time you'll only be able to fire two or three times before you have to blow them up so you can fire more. And finally, the Carmine Penta has a lot of sort of unique mods that it can use, so it, for example, has access to adhesive blast which will make its grenades stick to surfaces rather than bounce around. It has access to the penta specific tether grenades which will make each grenade tether up to five enemies within nine meters of them to the grenade. And finally it can also use the penta specific napalm grenades which will make it so that the grenades will explode on impact and leave behind a little bit of napalm and it will give it 30% base status. This is actually what I prefer to run on all three variants of the penta because on top of doing everything that the mod tells you it also changes the base damage of the weapon to pure heat. So here's the setup that I ended up running on the Carmine Penta. It's focused mostly on status with napalm grenades, though in the end I did add point strike in there for a little bit of extra crate, though you could easily take that out if you're willing to put in one more forma and replace it with heavy caliber, which doesn't have much of an effect on the weapon outside of giving you a bunch of extra damage. Now as far as the performance of the weapon is concerned, it's not much better than the standard Penta since the stats are pretty similar. So it is a pretty significant downgrade from the Secura Penta. This is basically just a collector's weapon, okay? It's the weapon you get if you want to get all the things. There is no reason to use it over the Secura Penta, though you could use it if you don't have the mastery rank for the Secura Penta, because it is technically better than the standard Penta. You have a bigger magazine, you have more ammo capacity in total, and it can fire a little bit faster. Though it is also much more difficult to get, because you get the blueprint for the standard Penta as a reward from a junction. So as I've said already, it's it's just a collector's weapon. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.